What's up, guys? Sounds like pizza here. 10 years. Uh, it's been 10 years uh, since I started my YouTube channel, since me and my friend Tape Flip were sitting in uh, his room playing Xbox uh, and uh, came up with the name and we ordered some pizza and Sounds Like Pizza was born and then years and years of meeting people online and, and um, just, I don't know. You know, I don't even know. I don't even know how I got here. You know, it's it's unbelievable to look back and see the path that I took. How how um, how how insecure and sad I was, and I was so desperate. You know, I was so desperate and poor. I'm still poor, but at least now I've got something to show for it. But all I'm saying is, it, it was insane. I. I came out of school in high school uh, not wanting, not fitting into the jobs that I was allocated into. I didn't have much choice and didn't have much support, you know, back then. So I was fairly alone coming out of school. I was very lost. I studied a lot, got a lot of student debt. God, student debt is the worst. Whatever you do, do not get into student debt. Unless you really, really believe that you'll be able to get a job in that field. Because I was running around uh, insane, not knowing what the hell I was doing. And uh, yeah, so stuck with a lot of debt on that end. But that's fine. You know, regardless of that, after that, I found my way. I got a job. I started saving. Did YouTube on the side and then suddenly everything just went crazy from Sarge I believe the first first little things that I did were like uh, like a like a uh, Mort Goldman he did like he, he rapped I was like rapping Eminem's rap god as Mort Goldman but it was that and then I, I remember I was invited to Los Angeles. It was the first time I was invited to this Lawbreakers uh, launch event, which was huge for me, right? The game was terrible and it flopped so hard, but it was huge. They flew me out. They flew me out to, to Los Angeles for the first time. This kid in Brisbane, I remember, I remember walking up and down my, my yard because I was too fat and I was exercising. <laughs> and I was just looking up at the plane. I know it's cheesy. It sounds really cheesy, but I was looking up at the plane and I swear, I was like, I want to be in that plane. And then I was in that plane. I swear to you. Manifestation, you guys, it works, right? So if anything you want to take away from this video, this uncut, unedited video is that uh, d d d don't get into college debt and... If you look at planes, you can, and you just wish hard enough, you can get in a plane. All right. <laughs> all right. Anyway, back to the story. Sarge blew up just as I was in LA. So everything was coming together. I was starting to talk to my girlfriend, my current girlfriend that I met via, because of YouTube. She watched my YouTube stuff and we met online. And now we are six years uh, in a relationship. <laughs> Um, and, uh, I, could, I honestly couldn't be happier, uh, that maybe that's why I don't do YouTube as much. Um, even though this is my only job, uh, I don't treat it as such and I probably should treat it more professionally and I'm going to, I really am. Um, but yeah, I'm getting on tangents here, guys. Um, just a lot to say. It's been 10 years. 10 years and I really haven't spoken. <laughs> Had many ups and downs. Uh, ran into a bunch of YouTubers. Uh, but yeah, no, Sarge was going off. My Sarge videos, the drill sergeant in GTA videos started going crazy. They were viral everywhere except my YouTube channel. <laughs> Believe it or not, my channel actually got a lot of subscribers. Didn't get many views actually on the... The, like the Sarge video 
that got probably hundreds of millions of views at this point only got about 2 million views uh, on my channel. <laughs> and it still has like only 2.5 or whatever. Um, so, you know, it's, it was crazy when that blew up. I remember I was so excited, but then because the adpocalypse had started happening, uh, because uh, all the advertisers were pulling out of YouTube and it was going crazy. Uh, so all my monetization was getting uh, just, I was getting wrecked. I remember that because I swear so much in my videos, you know, I say I really unfiltered stuff. And back then it was fine before the ad apocalypse stuff. It was fine to, uh, to, you know, just say outlandish stuff on YouTube. And that has changed dramatically now, obviously, but back then it, no one knew what was going on. So I missed out on God, who knows how much, how much advertiser revenue from that. But I still managed, you know, to this, this still managed to sustain a job for me for 10 years, you know, and you know, you can do that. It's a lot of hard work and that you're going to probably spend a lot of time, um, not making much money. You know, and if that's what you want, that, that's what you have to, ha you have to love, you have to love this, you know, or you have to be able to exploit it like, like, like YouTubers do, you know, and I'm not good at exploiting it, you know, so I, I make stuff I make and I have my, my ups and my downs and, you know, cause I'm only human, you know, and that's, if you guys want to start stuff like that, you gotta, you gotta remain steadfast. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving him info now like <laughs> anyway I don't even know what this video is I don't even know who I'm talking to but it's crazy my life has been absolutely crazy all because of YouTube um, I've got I've been able to travel to Los Angeles twice I went to E3 I got like crazy stuff I went to presentations I got behind I, got, I still get game codes you know I, I i'm in the gaming industry um you know and then you know there's the, the arthur stuff my arthur voices and the the amazing red dead redemption community that it's just it, they blow my mind with the amount of love and support they have shown me from when I did role play from the beginning of my shitty Arthur impression all the way through to what it is currently now. It's crazy. Like it's it's really crazy. You guys are amazing. You know, the Red Dead community blows my mind. Best community in the world, in my opinion, on games. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm really thankful. Right. And the friends I've met along the way, I, I also want to talk about that, man, the amount of people that I've met through YouTube now, and I've known for 10 plus years, and these guys I've never even seen, man, I've never even met them <laughs> in real life. And they're my, they're some, they're my, some of my closest friends, you know, it's, it's all because of YouTube, you know, it's, it, it's mind blowing, honestly. And I, I couldn't be more thankful, you know, these people to have people around you that are sharing that same experience of doing something that wasn't as uh, popular back in the day. And it was very confusing for parents and stuff i remember talking about it with my friends that were also doing youtube it was it's very hard to try and create and to not look past you know to to, to not be insecure and to criticize yourself and to just put stuff out and be creative that's the hardest it's one of the hardest things as a human right you either create or you consume you know in my opinion so it's been a tough balance for me over over the years but anyway <laughs> 10 years on youtube 10 years october 24 2013 
Uh, I currently am sitting at 115 million views. I think 135 million views ish. 100 and whatever. 100 million views. Let's round it down. 100 million views. Uh, 1.8 million subscribers, I think. Last time I checked. I honestly, I couldn't be more happier. It's it's mind blowing, I, you know. Having that is such such a crazy thing for me. And nowadays, it wouldn't be as crazy because people uh, are insane with numbers, and social media is is so so bad now that it's like numbers are so you have to be super viral all the time just to be someone on the internet because there's so many people trying to make it so but for me back in the day when no one had youtube channels you know it was very early on and i've been going at youtube for decades now i've had other channels you know crappy channels and um you know and it finally worked out and it's a, it's an achievement for me and it's it's something that I'm extremely proud of especially coming out of school being lost and not knowing what like where to go and I found I found some meaning in some stuff that I had no idea had any meaning I was playing video games and now <laughs> I've got a career about playing video games it's and they're not mutually exclusive. I can stop playing video games and try other stuff. It's videos, which is the primary uh, work here. Obviously, views and stuff differ. Um, they go up and down. And, you know, currently, I'm not going to lie, it's been a while since my views have been even close to sustainable for, for a full time job. But I'm luckily enough, I uh, luckily own my house and stuff so i don't i don't have to worry about too much of this stuff you know um so luckily i can just create sit down spend time honing my craft and figure out you know what what to do next and guys i have a lot of i have a lot of um aspirations and stuff i i, I i'm a very passionate filmmaker um even though i haven't made real films uh, I've made a lot of you know a lot of YouTube videos a lot of cinematic stuff a lot of uh, Red Dead mod cinematics and shit like that and stuff you know it's it, I, I have a lot and I have a massive drive for film and stuff and I'd love to be involved with directing and stuff you know I keep saying stuff but <laughs> I'd love to be involved with directing in some way eventually in my later life. And I, f I see this as a stepping stone, you know, either voice acting uh, as well, you know, because I can do a lot of voices, obviously. That's what this channel is all about, you know. Or well, the voices that you guys love so much, Sarge and Arthur and well, my Kanye parody and, you know, my Morty parody and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm literally just rambling. But I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, and yeah, I just... <clears throat> you know, you guys changed my life. You really did. You guys, you guys changed my life dramatically. Uh, and I couldn't be more appreciative of that. I am literally a slave to you guys. You know, you, you, you dictate <laughs> how successful my life is. Uh, it's it's like a Truman show. It's like a real life Truman show. Um, but yeah, no, like I said, absolutely grateful for the friends that I've met. Absolutely grateful for the things that I've achieved. And man, I, I'm honestly, I'm not going anywhere. So again, I'm still getting started. 10 years, we're only early on. I've got a lot of growing to do and I've got to do it fast. So... I'm excited for the future, guys. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uncut, unedited video of me just rambling. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I uh, will talk to you in future videos. Um, and uh, if you want to check out my live streams, that will be happening again soon. I took a break from that, but 
I'll be back with that. If you want to check out my other stuff, it's you know where to find it. It's on the channel. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you later.